Hello everyone, it's Maive. Welcome back to my channel for our last video of 2019. I almost said 2020 there. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Today you'll be watching over my shoulder while I make this Hobbit house that I started a few weeks ago and it took me so much longer to complete than I thought. I recorded this over the course of many days and nights so the light may look different from a clip to another. It was getting colder and colder as I was making this, so I decided to go for a winter hobbit house with a frosty look. I used a regular jar to make the house and I just quickly want to say that if you'd like to make houses from polymer clay, glass jars are not indispensable. I started using jars in 2011 when I started with polymer clay because I liked the idea of reusing them while decorating them and making them look like something totally different. I started by covering this house with clay and making a base out of tin foil, pretty much like in my other Hobbit house. I also used Sculpey Ultralight as a skeleton to either create the shape or to hold pieces of tin foil in place. I wanted this house to feel like it was stacked away in a corner, so I used a lot of tin foil to create a sort of large um, root on one side or what's left of it. And I wanted it to look like it was hidden in the mountain and it was covered in grass. <laughs> so I feel I should warn you there is a lot of grass texture in footage in this video. <laughs> I baked the house at different stages to be able to set the clay and carry on sculpting on top without damaging what I had already done. After baking the house again, I shaded the brown areas with a wash of brown black acrylic paint to be able to add more green on top as colouring it afterwards would have been too messy.
Here I'm just brushing a few more liquid on the bottom edge to add the last pieces of grass. After baking the house one last time, I added the last few touches with acrylic paint. I dry brushed a little pastel green paint on the bricks and some brown areas to make them look a little mossy and added a wash of dark green paint almost all over the green to create more depth and contrast. When all the paint was dry, I dry brushed a little white paint on the house, focusing on the top mainly and blending it downwards for a frosty morning look.
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Maive. I like to make things out of polymer clay. So if you'd like to follow my journey, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to turn on the notifications so you never, ever miss any of my uploads. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very Merry Christmas and the best for 2020. And I guess I'll catch you next year. Bye. Ciao, ciao. When all the paint was dry, I dry brushed what? White. Dry brushed white. When all the paint was dry, I dry brushed a little white on the house, focusing on the top mainly and blending it downwards for a frost. <laughs> I can't say for a frosty morning look. When all the paint was dry, I dry brushed a little white on the house, focusing mainly on the top and blending it downwards downward there blending it downwards when all the paint was dry I dry brushed a little white on the house focusing on the top mainly and blending it downwards for a frosty morning look